Oh my freaking god. Oh, they got purples as well. I can't believe that. What is good you legends? We're back on old school RSPS today with another banger episode of our series Road to Calm Cape. We're gonna be doing a raids, we're gonna work on combat tasks and lots of juicy bossing. I'm really much looking forward to it, but before we're gonna get started, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and give out a $50 bond to one lucky winner. And all you gotta do in order to know this juicy giveaway is to like this video, be subscribed to my YouTube channel with your post notifications on, and as well comment your old school in-game username. Let's go ahead and pick up our combat task grind, guys. As you can see, all easy mediums are done. Now let's go ahead and work on our Zilliana task first. And we're already at KC number 32, guys, and we got ourselves a God Sword shard number three into the collection log. I will most certainly take that, guys. New collection log entry. Maybe we're even gonna be able to finish this collection log, which would be very nice. And already at KC number 44, we got another a God Sword shard in the building, guys. That is nice to see we're nearing to KC number 50 and hopefully very soon we are going to be done with this task guys but other than that we have not gotten any significant drop unfortunately. And there we go guys we have Command Zillian Adapt uh, done that is 50 KCs of this boss out of the way that is very juicy to see guys in another combat task out of the way. Now let's take a look at our hard task guys we will have to start off the Tsutsuroth grind. Uh, we have kill him 50 times yarn or more guys without him using a special attack guys and then we'll have to go ahead and do this last ass as well while all of his bodyguards are dead and here we go guys this is going to be our second kc already the grinds begin right now and yeah this will be kc number two if i remember correctly guys there we go, guys. So let's get this party started. It suits her off and get some grinds in. And at KC number four, we have finished Yar No More, guys. So that is another combat task out of the way. Yar No More is done. So we have two more Tsutsuroth tasks to complete. And of course, the 50 KC in. Hopefully, some juicy drops gonna happen. Oh, would you look at that, guys? A Moraikin Spear at KC number 14 is in the building how freaking amazing is that let's go ahead and pick up our spear and bank it in that is such a juicy drop for the account and we have done the demonic showdown guys killing tsutsuroth while all of his bodyguards were dead so this is going to give us another three points and another combat task is out of the way for our account guys that is very beautiful to see and another task is done already. And while we're gonna work on our Tsutsuroth task, guys, we can start working as well on the Hespori task, where we will have to kill Hespori five times. And I think it's going to take quite some time until Hespori grows. So let's go ahead and start, yeah, uh, planting some Hespori seeds in. So here we go, guys, with our Hespori seed. We're gonna go ahead and rake this place down and then plant the Hespori seed. And hopefully we're gonna be able to kill his spory quite fast so we're gonna use the seed now on this little path here and yeah our first spory plant is going to grow and this is going to be our last Tsutsuroth kc guys which is going to mark kc number 50 holy freaking shit and cruel Tsutsuroth adept is out of the way guys how fabulous is that what a grind this has been and another hard task out of the way, guys. 50 Tsutsuroths are done now as well. And now we can go ahead and jump into our Phantom Muspa task, guys. Let's start killing these bad boys. And here we are at the Phantom Muspa, guys. You're gonna be able to see the mechanics of this boss. This is the first time that I'm gonna kill him. So I'm gonna try and be as cautious as possible. And yeah, we're just going to be using Barrage here as well to freeze him down. Try to get some tips in from people that have killed him before. But he has like some special attacks and stuff as well going on. Alright, this is definitely one of the more difficult bosses to kill compared to the other ones that we had to kill right now. Alright, he's moving around a lot. We're just standing still and then we're going to continue attacking him, guys. That is going to be the plan for now. And yeah, let's go ahead and get the Phantom Muspa out of the way. All right, here he is in his frozen form where we will have to get him down for 75 HP. And then just the last phase is going to start. 
and then we will be able to get ourselves uh, the Muspa kill. Our first KC out of the way, guys. I hope so, at least. And there we go, guys. Soon we're going to be able to get ourselves the first Muspa KC in. And that was a six-minute long fight, but we got the Phantom Adept out of the way, guys. And we got the Ancient Essence as well as a new collection log entry in the building as well. So that is very nice to see and a huge W. And now the raid grinds are going to begin, guys. We're in for a duo run. And yeah, let's see. Twisted Bow is definitely something that we're still missing. We got ourselves the Bastion slot melee gear pretty much. So now it's time to go ahead and get ourselves that juicy drop, hopefully. And here we are in the Tacton room and look at these scythe hits, guys. Can't freaking complain. You just gotta pray melee and you can whack this noob down. And it's just going to be a wide drop, unfortunately, but we got some pure essence in and holy shit, lots of ore as well, guys. Not too shabby. And we're in for the next run again, back at Tacton already. And hopefully this time we're gonna be able to maybe get ourselves a little purple, guys. Let's see. And here we are, guys, at the last phase of Ulm. Let's go ahead and get his 1,200 HP down. And there we go, guys. Ulm is defeated. And we didn't manage to get a purple, unfortunately. Let's see what we're going to be getting. Grimmy Snapdragons and some Iron Ore. This is going to be KC number 48 of Chambers done already on here. And now we're going to go in for a trio challenge mode raid, guys, with the boys. And I think that the trios are going to go better at least. So let's get this party started now, guys. And we're here at the last HP of Ulm. And the hat is going to go down in a second, guys. There we freaking go. Let's see what we're going to be getting, guys. And holy shit, that is a purple, but a gold purple. That is so freaking sick to see. Oh, my freaking God. Oh, they got purples as well. I can't believe that. This is so sick to see. Ancestral rope bottoms, guys. And we got as well the Twisted Ancestral Color Kit. Holy smokes. That is such a cool kit. Let's go, boys. That is going to be a juicy rare in the building. Purple and a gold purple, or whatever you want to call it. New rare drops in the building again. And we got ourselves a rare drop, guys. Let's see if we're going to get a back-to-back. -back. This time again for a tree run. Good luck. And we are at the final phases. Let's get in there, boys, and destroy the Ulm. As you can see, we got quite some marked tiles. Uh, tiled marks, guys. And we are going to take care of the melee hand. At least that's what has been going on, guys. We can spec three times the melee hand, which is absolutely amazing to see. And yeah, we can get started. And this was our KC number 50, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. Chambers of Zarek Master we are, guys. That is such a cool achievement out of the way. We have done 50 Chambers of Zarek, guys. Another run has been completed. And wow, what can I say, guys? I'm so freaking proud of that achievement. Another huge grind out of the way, guys. And let's see what we're going to be getting from our next run, guys. Purple in the building and the Twisted Bow, maybe KC51. And unfortunately, just white. And people are typing white as well. Unlucky, guys. Unlucky, unlucky. We're just going to get in some Mitril ore, it seems like, and some Silver ore. That ain't a Twisted Bow. And this is what our collection log looks like after 51 KCs of Chambers of Zarek, guys. We legit haven't gotten too many big drops, guys. Elder Mole and Ancestral. But overall, it could be a bit better. 94 KC of TOB, this is what it looks like. So that looks a bit more juicy. If you ask me, TOAs, we have done none so far. But I think in the next episode, we could attack it. But I really wanted to get myself the Tebow first. But we might as well start the QA grind soon. And even though we got our blessing, guys, um, yeah, one point per damage within the Chambers of Zarek, plus one point per damage. We did not manage to get too many rares. But yeah, the ornament Twisted Ancestral Color Ornament Kit, guys, we got. So let's go ahead and use it to our uh, body, guys. Yes, apply the upgrade and... This is what it's going to look like, guys. Our Twisted Ancestral Rope tops are in the building. Woo! Holy shit. That looks freaking OP. Now we look like a true god, guys. I swear to God. But yeah, anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you again with another banger episode next week, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for the support. And we're going to keep on grinding. <laughs>